All right, for a new website, what are the SEO areas you should be focused on in uh, the first three months in 2022? This is from Vanessa. So this, this is how I would approach a brand new website I was making right now. I would spend the first, uh, assuming you spent the requisite time making sure, you know, the website's being worth being made during the right business model, so to speak. Assuming all that's been done, I would spend the first month maybe even th maybe three weeks of that first month, just making sure the website, like a few of the things I was mentioning in, in the middle slides, that it's completely optimized so Google can read it upside down, backwards, forwards, any which way. And then I would honestly, in my personal opinion, I would spend the next two months writing content that, that you feel your target demographic needs to know about. If you don't know what they're wanting to know, I, I would recommend checking out a website called Quora.com. Q U O R A. There's a lot of questions posted there on the all, all the time from various different industries. And that's a great place that I've, I've sent clients to that basically just want to make quick various, you know, pieces of content, whether it be a blog or a quick YouTube video. Chances are someone has asked a question about something in your industry and you can find it on Quora and make a quick piece of content out of it. But to, to answer your question, spend the first month or so, maybe three weeks of that month, making sure the website's really good to go in terms of optimization, up, down, backwards, and forwards. And I would personally spend the rest of my time writing content or creating graphics for that content. All right. And I just want to clarify because I'm teaching some courses with some people that are extreme novices. When you say up, up down, backwards, and forwards, you don't actually mean that the search engine is reading it backwards. What kind of tool are you using to measure how good you've done or what kind of tool would a uh, rookie, somebody that's completely new to this, be able to use to quantify if they have achieved that goal of making it uh, really easy for the search engine to read it and index it? That, that is a great question, actually. So I, I like to always, especially since you said someone new getting started, I like to recommend free tools first. So the first couple things that you can mark your progress on, you know, optimization, uh, the Google PageSpeed Insights website itself. It'll scan your website. It'll tell you, uh, you know, all, some of those factors we actually talked about in terms of cumulative layout shift, last contentful paint. It'll tell you those things. Also, along the same lines, another website called GT Metrics is very helpful because it gives you additional information about your website in the form of what's called a waterfall. Don't ask me why it's called that. That's just the way it is. And essentially, it gives you uh, a visual representation of how your resources are loading and how long it takes for them to re uh, load up. Um, where was I going with the third resource? Um, Google Image. Uh, the... Oh, Search Console. If, if you hook up Google Search Console to this newly created website, you can manually put in your sitemap. And that way, you guarantee that Google is, is you know, reading your sitemap directly from you. So those are the three tools I would recommend. Uh, Google Search Console, gtmetrics.com, and the native Google PageSpeed Insights uh, website.